Maps I find incredible. Right, we'll start with the map I truly do find incredible. Cyclist recreates Nirvana's Nevermind album cover. Just in case you haven't seen the original album cover, this is what it looks like, and this is seriously impressive. Because this is really zoomed out, I wonder how long this actually took. It's a lot of cycling and it's a lot of planning to do the route. I tell you what though, imagine your house being right where the baby's willy is, you know what I mean? Was that a weird thing to say? Let's move on. Ooh, the most popular languages on Duolingo. Duolingo is an app where you learn different languages. Coincidentally, I've been using it for the last two weeks. I've started learning German. Now, apparently, it's just me and the Balkans, because everywhere else is learning English, Spanish, or French. It's really interesting to look at that, though. Most of the world is learning English. Most people in Canada want to learn French, which makes sense. There's a lot of French-speaking areas of Canada. Wait, I've just realised Sweden are learning Swedish. Ah, it's mostly refugees who learn Swedish in Sweden with the support of Duolingo. Oh, well, that's actually pretty incredible. Whoa, world map according to China in 1799. I love seeing these old maps. And do you know what? For 1799, it's pretty accurate, isn't it? Their scale is definitely off, though, when you compare the size of Africa to the size of, like, Indonesia and Malaysia. Percentage of Europeans who would fight for their country. So in the UK, only 21 to 40% of people would be willing to fight for their country. Do you know what? I'd be in the 15 to 20%. You think I'm fighting somewhere on behalf of Boris Johnson? I don't think so. The lighthouses of Europe. This map is insanely accurate, with each dot being the right colour. The patterns are the real patterns, and the size of the dot representing the visible distance of each lighthouse. Oh my god, so much data. That is mad. I tell you what, Norway are not messing about with their lighthouses. That is one well-illuminated coastline. <laughs> Weirdest food from every state. Pasties? What's weird about pasties? We love a pasty in the UK. Cheese and onion, don't mind if I do. Comparing the latitude of North America and Europe. This one always really freaks me out. Because for some reason, I always think of the UK being parallel with, like, this middle part of the US. But you can see they don't line up in the slightest. And it's actually the US is parallel with Spain and Portugal. Meanwhile, the UK doesn't even dip into the US and it is entirely in Canada. All the countries that have gained independence from Great Britain. Oh man, what a legacy. Jeez. We could say all the dates as well. Some of them are so recent. 1981 for Antigua and Barbuda. Due to just a small space on the Pan American Highway, we can't drive from Alaska to Pantagonia, known as Darien Gap. So what they're saying is you could drive all the way through North America and all the way to the bottom of South America if it wasn't for this little cheeky fella in Panama. Right, let's go to the Darien Gap. I want to see it. So if we get the little street view guy. Woo! We literally hover over. You can see exactly where the road stops and that's exactly where I want to go. Oh my god, it's so much more built up than I was imagining it. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking it would be like right just in a rainforest in the middle of nowhere, but I guess there's a small village in front of the rainforest. Have we done it? Have we reached the end of the road? Yes, we literally have. We can't go down there. We've just got some benches and a few houses and stuff. You could walk further down though. I wonder if you could walk it. You just couldn't travel by car. It's a national park. It's probably just completely off limits. The hidden continent of Zealandia. Outline Lined in grey. Deep under the ocean there is what's considered a continent. It's so much bigger than New Zealand. What is it? Some like tectonic plates or something? I don't know. Do you scale map slash model of my grandfather's farm in the Victorian high country? Oh my god, that's adorable. Go on son, look at that, you've nailed that. Look at the little sheds and stuff. What? US counties without a single African American? I cannot believe that. I know they look like small squares, but that is a lot of land. That is, what? Walking time of the European microstates. So to walk from the westernmost point to the easternmost point of Andorra, it would take 14 hours. So that's what I mean about these tiny countries. You think to yourself, we're absolutely tiny. It'd take you 14 hours to walk across it. Okay, so Liechtenstein, four hours. So that is considerably smaller. Right, we're gonna get smaller and smaller. San Marino would take us four hours. See, that really surprises me. I've just always thought San Marino was tiny. Right, hang on. What's next? Monaco? It'll be Monaco, I assume. Yes, that's right. It'd take an hour to walk across the entire country. All right, and then last is Vatican City. Let's predict it. I'm gonna say 20 minutes. Let's go for it. 19 hours? Oh wait, I see the zero. So it's 0 0.19 H. So they do mean 19 minutes. Hey, I said 20. I'm a genius. The, the can't read. Map of cannibalism in China? Bloody hell. The thing is, there's no concept of time here. So we don't know if most of these happened a thousand years ago or, you know, Tuesday. School uniforms around the world. So the yellow is where you have school uniforms for the majority of the schools. And then the blue is where it's not common to have school uniform. I did not realise that in Europe, the UK is actually a minority and most countries don't have a school uniform. I expected it in the US, obviously, because I've watched many an early 2000s high school US chick flick. <laughs> More accurate olive oil versus butter map of Europe. 
group. The yellow being where people generally use butter in their cooking, and then the green being where they use olive oil instead. So obviously Spain and Italy use a lot of olive oil. Do you know what? I started shoving a bit of olive oil on my salads, and I really like it. And it's just the oil that you like normally pour on a pan. I assume that's acceptable. It tastes nice either way. Oh my god, sovereign states of confusion. These are maps of several of the world's countries. They may be resized, rotated, or even turned upside down. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to identify each of them. That is way too hard. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. P is obviously Australia. We've got that one. And then we've also got India for M. I reckon N is probably Greece. G is obviously Chile. I is an upside down Italy. I kind of want to guess that that is Egypt for E, but I might be wrong. Is that Japan for A? Oh, and then obviously we've got the USA. I did not see the US when it's at that angle. Oh, bloody hell. And at that point, I think I'm probably stuck. Countries that can hit any place on Earth with a missile. All right, brilliant, reassuring to know, thanks. There's a spot in the mid-Atlantic from which there are 60 countries that can be sailed to in a straight line. Ah, oh, cause the Earth's round. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at that, you're right there and then you go, when you're in the US or you go, when you're like just at the tip of Chile. Oh, bloody hell. Or if you want to get particularly crazy, you go, and then you pop out the other side over in Vanuatu. What a dream. <laughs> Asia's quest to eradicating extreme poverty, 1981 versus 2019. All right, well, let's see some big improvements. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Still progress to be made, but things are certainly in the right direction, which is very nice to see. Europeans who can read and write at least one foreign language. Right, I mean, this looks pretty bad for the UK, but there's some logic behind it because I'm assuming that basically the second language that all of these countries know will be English. But this kind of thing does annoy me a bit as like an English person because I feel like there's definitely a stereotype that we're all like self-entitled annoying tourists So that's why I've started trying to learn German just to be a little bit more cultural, you know Kangaroos versus people so the reds means that there is more kangaroos in those places than there is people Which is nice to see isn't it? 3 million kangaroos compared to 2.67 when I went to Australia certain areas we were in there was kangaroos all over the joint Me and Becky were walking back to our Airbnb once and it got dark and these kangaroos Kangaroos started surrounding us from all angles. It was mental. Size of the Great Barrier Reef compared to Europe. What? That really puts things into perspective. That is absolutely crazy. This is just the top half of Australia and just absolutely rips through the center of Europe. Goes across so many countries. That is mad. This bit of Google Street View was made using a camel. Oh my god, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I need to see it in the flesh, please. Whoa, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Look at the camel, he's got the little camera strapped on his back. Oh my god, we're in the desert. That's insane. Where are we? It's United Arab Emirates. Oh, that's insane. Look at that. That looks mad. New Zealand as the center of the world. Oh man, I love these things. It doesn't look like everything's included, but obviously it is because they just line up on either side. There is just not much going on over here, is there? Is this food a human right? The US was the only country to say no. Nice one, guys. <laughs> Oldest continuously functioning universities in Europe. This is insane. I learned this for the first time a few months ago. I assumed that, you know, 300 years would be most universities' age. Some of them are a thousand years old. Oxford University began in 1167. This one in Italy began in 1088. I can't even comprehend how long ago it was. Countries whose flags were featured on the cover of Survival by Bob Marley and the Whalers. That is epic. I love it. Oh, God. <laughs> Countries with territorial disputes with China. Right, not great. <laughs> the most searched news site in each state. Yahoo. Who's reading stuff with Yahoo? It's 2022. What are you doing on Yahoo? I'll see Yahoo News. <laughs> All right, and on that note, I'm going to end off this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for weekly geography-related content, and I'll see you later.